Ready? Recording? We are yeah. recording. Let's do this. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of Midnight Movie Distillery. I am one of your hosts, Logan Lynch. It's been a long night, but I think <laughs> I'm Warwick Price. This is a brand new night because we just sat oh, down right. to Sorry. do this. Yeah. Uh, and I'm Lon Black. And happy Halloween. We're, we're in October now. We are in October. Um, um, damn, am more I like happy about October. that? I don't know. Tonight, we are going to be talking about uh, candy corn from 2020... 2019, I believe. 19, sorry. 2020, Oh, yeah. You uh, don't have your no usual notes. I no, should, no, no, no. I should I, probably bring that up for yeah. you. Uh, so, anyway, so uh, candy corn from 2019. Um, and, um, Lon, what else do we do? We... Yeah, what, what, what do we do? Plug our October Halloween oh, stuff. That, oh, that, that, that is too. correct. Um, so, do we want me Warwick, just, what have you? Hang on a second. Yeah. Give me a second here. Yeah. Uh, okay. So I will pull it up because I've got. Let's go full screen with this. Go ahead. Mm. Go ahead. It's not sliding. It's sliding. It's just not. Let me try to refresh. There, uh, there go. you go. Okay. So as many of you know, um, I, my wife and I own Ghoulish Models at two two eight West Main Street. No. Uh, we are a horror and monster retail store selling uh, lots of things that are horror and monster related art prints um, pins jewelry books um, a lot of good Black Martin stuff a lot, lot of very good Black Martin <laughs> stuff <laughs> Black Martin? Um, <laughs> dolls and, and creepy dolls and a whole bunch of super purses, super cool stuff purses backpacks props, lots, Jesus. lots of cool Andy's stuff got pinball games. You can, uh, and we have four pinball games that are oh, yeah. um, on free play there's no free excuse play. not to come here free play free play uh, how about you, Long? What, well, what, what do you do? Also in October mm. is... Look at this smooth transition. <laughs> <laughs> you, didn't go, you didn't cut away from that? No, because right. I, thought, awesome. I thought you were going to be like, oh, gung-ho. Uh, we run a Halloween excursion called Monster Purge. Fun times. You're not getting the full effect with the music because it's not coming through this. Because no, so you can hear it through these microphones. Yeah, but look at so he, so right just to give you a little oh, background yeah. while this is going, I'll, I'll, I'm going to do a voiceover for this for you. So those are paintball guns, and those are people that you're actually hitting with the paintball guns. Um, it is a fun time. I've actually done it. Um, I'm definitely going to do it again this year. Uh, it's you're up high, and you know you've got little mini targets. You can have uh, big targets meaning people um, and if you really don't like somebody that's out there you can just can unleash on them it's, it's a really good time highly recommend checking it out so this is a monster truck bus if you're going to hunt monsters in the woods uh -oh. this is a monster truck <laughs> bus it is 14 feet high 13 feet wide 50 feet long we see 39 He's not people at all. on the bus that it's shoot huge. we have a total of 41 guns but 38 people we see we shoot live action monsters and zombies in the woods with paintball guns. Yes, it sounds like a blast because it is, it is. a blast. And the music is blaring and it's freaking cool. And the yeah. lights are on and it's a it's a party on a bus where you get to shoot monsters. Yep. And who Come wouldn't on. want to do that? Please don't bring your own guns. We have our own. <laughs> yes. yes. All right, so let's do it. What are we doing? What are All right, watching? so we said candy corn. Candy corn, we've done that part. So now we're going to talk about uh, what else do we do with our podcast? We pair a liquor liquor with the movie uh -huh. and so this one was sort of a, a weird one because i thought candy corn hey whiskey's made with corn uh -huh. let's do a bunch and you know what all whiskey pretty much is made with corn so, yeah. I, so that was a little lame. so i found this that to me looked like circus in a bottle this is called contradiction bourbon oh and can we cut to my camera please uh, yeah. There you go. Can you see that? It's an elephant on a barrel, just like you'd see in the circus. A contradiction, which also fits this movie because we're talking circus freaks and the contradiction between them and the city folk or town folk. Town, town folk, folk, yeah, yeah. Town folk. Especially the, the uh, police chief. They don't get along too well. Yeah. But I have never tried this. I've seen it in the stores for a I while. Say, I swear I've seen that label for. Yeah, it's been around. They don't make any other th bourbons than this one, I believe, that I've seen out there anyway. Uh -oh. that, that's sometimes not a good sign. But. Right, that's what I'm saying. It's or it could sign. be the start of many things, right? Uh, but it looks good. It's got good color. I, what, what year we got on that yeah, bad boy? I don't know if it's oh, straight. Oh, he had to put a glass. Okay, it's a blend 
of straight bourbon whiskeys. Okay. okay. So that's a good thing. Non-chilled, filtered. I don't know why that's a specific Honestly, thing. it looks pretty But dark, they do have it hand-signed on the back. It's batch number 481, and it's hand-signed by, bottled by... Jamie? Jamie. Jaime. Uh, for so it may be great, or Jamie's Sorry. just really bad at this. It's distilled in West Virginia okay. and Indiana. Interesting. Right. So what so, does that well, mean? They, they move the uh, barrel? I don't know what the hell that means. It is a blend. Right? Uh, so. It is a blend of straight oh, yeah, bourbon yeah. whiskeys. Born. I, like I know what I'm talking about. Bourbon we distilled <laughs> in the mountains of West Virginia and bourbons we sourced from Indiana. There you go. Mingled together to create a contradiction. Oh, I see what they did there. Oh, wow. So, so if I drink this while I'm walking, am I a walking contradiction? Yeah. Uh, Thank you. Wow. That's, uh, He'll be here, here all <laughs> night, baby. So basically, there's no. I don't see anything in here about the year, the age of any of these bourbons at all. So sh is it safe to say an estimate of four probably years? No, no. I would say the estimate's out the window. I would say it could be uh, uh, Indiana, first of all, is not known for bourbon. Kentucky, great. Maybe gr that's the saving grace of this whole thing. Yeah, but 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 it, was, but it was all sourced it from Indiana. Yeah, <laughs> some of it was sourced from Indiana. So we're going to find out. I, I'm, I'm a little nervous, I'll be honest. Ooh. Ready? He's nervous. Oh, well, this is tight. I'm going to make sure my, my glass This is could clean. be a good pop because it's tight. Ooh. Ooh. That was actually probably the best pop we've heard. All right. That was a pretty tight cork. Yeah. That's a, that's a good sign. She said. Nobody went now, do you soak your corks? Are you a cork soaker? I knew that was coming up sooner or later. but. <laughs> mm. Mm. Oh. Questionable? Yeah. Mm. Oh, hang on a sec. The question is, will Warwick hit his microphone there's, with the bottle? There's a little oh. bit of a funk to it. Oh, he's got I, the I funk. I, I, I smell lavender. Uh, I, oh, I, yeah. I can see the lavender. I can see the lavender. So, now, I'm getting a sweet smell. Well, sure. There's going to be a sweet smell but in like there. Like an corn, overpowering but... sweet smell. Which, really? is not in a bad way. It's just, no. for me, that actually kind of, actually, Well, I, I think that's a good thing. But... You okay. are not as sweet okay. tooth as me. Well, let's start it, pouring this and see what we got. Which I find interesting. Why was it a sweet tooth if it's I'm tasting something? Wouldn't it be a sweet tongue? All right. Who the fuck knows? Because sugar goes right to your teeth as a cavity. True. Um. Okay. Yeah, but isn't that a, that's a bad? Yeah, I can't. Oh, look at this. Can't even, uh, oh, pop the top. It. Did we already do this part? Yeah, we did that. Mm, yeah. Okay. So yeah, people yeah, saw it. Did. I'll just put it out here behind the foot. All right. Uh, All right. I'm nervous, dude. That's. Okay, now it's not as sweet. Uh oh. Hey, it's got some bite. <laughs> That's a little hot. There's a lot of bite to that one. That's a little hot. But not it. It's funny because because in the glass I don't smell smell no. the lavender. No. No. No, I don't smell that I anymore. I smell paint thinners. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I think we might have another Zachariah Harris on our hands. I don't think it's that bad. No, you, you, I take it back. You, you are correct, and it's and it's actually it's funny. Um, I actually taste the sweetness. Yeah, I, I really taste the yeah. sweetness now. There's a there's a funk in there. They got a bad barrel in there or something. One of these barrels is not must like have the been other. the one from Indiana. I would not <laughs> doubt that. So, uh, okay, did you get your three sips in? I'm getting my third. Lo uh, Logan needs a. You need a. Yeah. How many sips in are you? Oh, I can't remember. Mm. That's, that's at, le at least two. Okay. <coughs> oh, wow. If you're coughing, that's yeah, not that's... Uh, It's only 46% alcohol. It's only a 46%. Really? So we're, yeah. I mean, so it's the... not weak, but that's not strong. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I'm guessing. Wait, wait. We right. should rate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. let's rate rating first. Mm. I'm going deuces on this one. Going single. Sure going single, never mingle. Yeah, you off when always. I hold it up and I go, you mm, always. Oh my god, a five point three. You, uh, <laughs> yeah, and I'm like, mother puss bucket. Wow. <laughs> you you ready? Work. Still thinking about it. Okay. One. Two. Two. Three. Oh, did I did one point, okay, I, thank God. I, I, Jesus I, I, Christ. Yeah, I did it 1.4 is See, better than a 4.0. Well, no, is heck? that because the camera's reversed or am I just an idiot? No, it's you're looking at it from the way it's looking at us. So, yeah, know. it's reversed. I've had a lot of... Anyway, alcohol. Logan, what did you get? What I gave it a 2.4. 
Uh, I gave it a 1.4. Okay. I gave it a 2, split right down the middle between nice. you two okay. guys. So I, I'll go first since I kind of probably gave it the highest here. Um, you know, no, probably about it. You did yeah, give it you, okay. actually, I, I it's, probably. It's, well, called, it's called math. I just, yeah. <laughs> I don't understand math. Mm-hmm. That was mm-hmm. never my strong suit. Okay. Uh, no, it, 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 the sweetness is what kind of saved it for me. I know you guys are not big sweet fans, but well, this isn't that the, kind of sweet. You're, uh, the sweet we don't like is when it's a cordial, right? When it has like when it's so when it's, sugary, it's only it's like, sweet, right? Yeah. yeah. So I, I think that softened the 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 I don't I don't even want to call it the spices, but the tang to it. It it softened that for me. Now I noticed you guys were you know not big fans of the. Oh Jesus! Wow, even got pea shippers Whoa. over here. Fuck me. Uh, but I, I think it's it's not so good that I want to run out and buy a bottle. But it's not so bad that I, I would never buy eye. a bottle. Wow! If that makes sense. I, well, I, yeah. Nobody would. Well, I, we bought the bottle. What the hell? I mean, we. I know. I, I I would not. I would not buy this. Well, not a second time. <laughs> I mean, funny. Mom's like, I'm not buying this. <laughs> um, we don't no, have a budget I, here yet. I, I, I think. Um, so, so I, I will take back, even though again, oh because God. of the stupid rating system that that, that we did, and I, don't create, worry about I created your previous. It myself. Um, technically, Zachary Harris, I rated higher than this. Uh, this is definitely really? better than Zachary Harris. Um, but at this point in time, you gave uh, it the gear. I agree the with gear. that. But, but, but here's the thing is, I was thinking about that, too, and the fact that not to say, well, I gave Zachary Harris this score, so, so I, I got to give this better. I thought to myself, well, this isn't as bad as Zachary Harris, so. Right, I don't even remember what bad. I gave Zachary Harris. Well, so. I gave it a two. Okay. I can't believe I gave it a two. Um, but it, because I, we, we've said this before, it's like I gave it a two because I felt <sighs> that there had to be something that would come out worse. So far, it hasn't. You're trying to think uh, ahead. We don't want. We don't do that here. But th- there just is. There is very little redeeming about this. There's definitely uh, now, uh, unlike Zachary Harris, which again I think we all agree was basically just alcohol. Um, yeah. This does have flavor. Sure. It just isn't necessarily a flavor that I like. It has a lot of burn. I can um, hear it in your voice, man. Like you're yeah, like, it, oh my god, like <laughs> you're like trying to hold back possibly yakking all over yeah, the microphone. Yeah, I mean it, it's. Um, <laughs> I, I really wow. I don't like it. Okay, no. I'll I'll still finish it, but yeah. So, uh, Do we we win. Go ahead. Even though I was here. in the middle between you two guys, I overrated this. Uh, I usually if I if I give a bourbon a certain rating and then I have a few more sips, I kind of get used to it. This is getting worse. Yeah. Really? Okay. This Are is, you just disting- distinguishing more flavors? I, or, I'm or, distinguishing or more, more more funk. Okay. And I'm not even talking like Irish whiskey funk. Irish right. whiskey funk, some people have a taste for. That could be the mold from the... Uh, this, I think, is just... just <laughs> the <staves>. Yeah. <laughs> well, so I think this that has got to be a... The Indiana whiskeys in this are ruining it. And I think... And just speculation. I don't hate everybody from Indiana. Yes, I do. <laughs> but th- I think these are rested whiskeys, not aged whiskeys. Right, right. That burn saying. and that funk mm, okay. goes away when you age so things more. The wood for gets those in out there, there that is, don't know what a rested versus an aged aged whiskey. All, all those people out there don't know what it is. <laughs> yes, a <clears throat> rested whiskey, and I don't know the specifics of it, but it's in months. Aged is in years. Yeah, literally. I, I, I they rested the barrel over here. Okay, now we're ready. Let's move it over here. Right, <laughs> rested is in months. In other words, two, three, four, six months. Aged is years, two, three, four Got years. It. Okay. Uh, and the fact that they don't even say uh, an actual year on there. Yeah, because there's it's nothing blended. because it's blended. So I they feel don't have but to. But there are blended that put years on of there. Of course, right? because they want to say, "Hey, look, we're blending yeah. good stuff here." Yeah, right. These people didn't put the age on there, probably for a good reason. Well, or is it because they're assuming it was a contradiction to regular whiskey? I right, think right, right. <laughs> I, I, but, but, but I, I think. But if, even still, it's I think not. if you're trying to do that as like a marketing ploy, then you'd at least say, "Hey, we blended um, whiskeys th- that were two year and, and four and, year and yeah. five year and and you know right. because it's a contradiction of of, right. of the blend." Right. The fact they don't even mention anything, I I, I tend to agree. It's, it's like this is a very very young. It is uh, whiskey. It, what do we want to? What do we want to guess on price on this? Yeah, let's uh, hear it. I'm going to say 
or less. I was, no, 1795. Based on the bottle and the way they're making it look, I'm willing to bet they went as high as $32. Mm. I, the bottle is a pretty basic bottle, and it's just. I mean, label, yeah. Do well, I just mean the this. label, the label, and things like that. Like there was marketing put into this, so yeah, I think I, they're I, trying I, to make I, their money I can, back. I can search Google for a clip art as well. Well, I but they that. do, but they do do the signing. How on How do the they back. get a picture of now, me standing on the earth? <laughs> I anyway. will say, it doesn't feel necessarily like it's actually handwritten. Mm, interesting. Even more. I don't know if that's Fucking true, Jamie. Yeah, hi, me. But it is numbered. So they're trying to say, look, this is quality enough to where we number it. But you know what? At all, that doesn't be. really mean shit. Correct. Okay, okay. So answer this question: When you bought it off the shelf, did you check to see that all the others didn't also say four eighty one? I did not. <laughs> I could still go back because I'll guarantee you those bottles are still see, there. Now, I'm just, I'm just throwing this out there as a suggestion. Yeah, so throw it out. You know what? Throw we it might out. as well. Let's hear it. Um, when you go to these places, maybe do a little, um, have the misses do a little recording of you just kind of walking around and grabbing the stuff. Could she would be stuff. bored off of her yeah, ass. Exactly. But me, doesn't matter what I she's. Spend, I don't care what she if she's bored. Yeah, we I, we want to see that stuff. I spend no, I mean, hours in the liquor stores sure. looking at bottles, reading labels, hey, doing research. More episodes come. On. I, I get it. Yeah, I get go. it. I get it. But I'd have to really pare that down because a lot of it's me doing this and then putting her glasses on. <laughs> and then realize you can't read. And then yeah, then you're going, wait, what? <laughs> wait a minute. Did that actually say it had... Oh, no, yeah. Hmm. And then... Hmm, and hmm. Okay, let's see this How distillery. How does it feel in my hand? Now, 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 what movie so, are we trying to pay this yeah. with? <laughs> right, right. Well, that gets, hey, that gets that difficult. A pro- that's a process. That I know. That's, I'm trying to help you out here. Get uh, some more media up there. Uh, and yeah. sometimes sure. there are your, your help out was bringing the Kirkland? Yeah, Jesus yeah. I, I that, do apologize way. for that. That was thanks for that. It's, that was it's still over there. On that the was table. a dick move. Yeah, we're staring through. at it. It's looking at us right now. Like fuck I you guys. Through, saying, as, drink me, drink <laughs> me, please. I swear, yeah, get better. As one of our viewers uh, did mention, drink. I did go through the five stages of grief just yeah. with that bourbon. Yeah. That was that bad. Yes, uh, he had uh, to go see a therapist. That was hilarious. That, that was funny as hell. Thank you for writing that. By the way, even Benny doesn't like it. So love that. I don't think that I want to give this bourbon any more time. Okay. We're done. I'm, yeah. I'm on. so done with this. Let's move on to don't our... Don't buy it. Let's move on to the movie. There we go. Next mo- the next thing we're talking about is candy corn. Candy, candy corn. corn. 2019. So we're yeah. going to rate it right off the bat. Rate right, right off the yeah, bat. Yes, yeah, so let's right. do some rated. Rated? I said rated, I swear. My numbers got all mixed up. Fortunately, I can I'm re- go with the, uh, the double, double I can, number. Again. I can reuse one of my numbers. I, you know what? Y- you have that privilege. As 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 a human. I thought you could say as a white man. I was going to say as a woman. <laughs> I thought, okay. What? Wait, that doesn't work. Okay, I All swear right. to God, I have it right this time. And if it I think comes I'd up wipe, wrong, I'm going to be fucking pissed. But I did. All right, check. Ready? One, two, three. Bam. Motherfucker. You did anyway. <laughs> three, God. two. Is that a one 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 three? One. Logan, what do you get? What do you? Get? I gave it. Logan gave it a three point two. Three point uh, two. I gave it a one point fucking three. Okay. I gave it a full three. Okay. Fuck me, really? Yeah, All right, man. let's start on the low end. I liked oh, it. Oh Jesus Christ! I liked it. All right. I thought it was entertaining. I thought this movie was very badly shot. Mm-hmm. Uh, acting was fucking atrocious. Mm-hmm. Um, other than the fact that w- we live in a world where even crappily shot movies world. have some production value to to the way it looks. It doesn't look <laughs> cheaply shot. Um, everything else about this movie was just fucking dreadful. Wow. I, I, I hated this movie with every single ounce well, of my body. Well, you gave it a bigger score than I would have thought you would have given it. Yeah, just you based actually, on your... You're just shy of a two. Man, this is this is like a man like, of... That's like a one and a half. Okay, that's close. <laughs> Damn. I, 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 th- I thought it was dreadful. Okay. okay. I, I didn't like it. I didn't, I didn't think the... I, I thought was, there were a couple of like gore scenes. You know, were, PJ Souls is in this. Uh, so so and and the sheriff guy was um, Children of the Corn, right? Uh, uh, Malachi, Tony Malachi. Todd, hello, Malachi, yeah. and Tony. So I think that's what made me not give it a one. Mm-hmm. It's it, it because okay. so I, I and I know it was produced by Dread Central. Yeah. And I'm sure that's why well, they were, Central has a few bombs in there too. Right. You know, I think that's why they were able to get some like named quote unquote um, people in it. Um, but I thought it was just fucking dreadful. Wow. 
Okay, Logan, you had the you had the so, highest score. Honestly, I I did not have. I'm going to change your mind. By I way. did not have high <laughs> expectations going into this film. Um, I helps. do agree the acting was subpar, but honestly, this is going to you're probably going to hate me for this, but I compared this to the original Halloween acting. So watching really? the original Halloween acting is horrendous. You can't. You got to You got to agree with me on that. You got uh, he just totally. Uh, I think which is kind of funny. I think this is. I, I think the original so, Halloween is. Hold on, like, is I'm not like saying it's as good. Quality I did not say this was this. as good as Halloween. I'm just saying it was. The acting was better than that. But now, granted, this was obviously 2019. So, um, but I felt like the movie they had a good idea. They could have done more with it, obviously, but. Um, you had the the tropes. You had the character that you know was being picked on. You, he comes back. You know they they had um, you know you, you had a little person in it. Come on, you mm-hmm. can't go wrong with that. A, mm-hmm. a doublish little who person. who is literally the worst fucking actor in the entire world. You know he was in uh, Rob Zombie's Thirty One. Yeah, really. He was, he was little Hitler. Was he yeah. was he shit in that as well? Well, he didn't talk <laughs> much in that one. Uh, so so I, he I just had a, he just had a little role. Oh <sighs> damn! Wow, we're so canceled. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> you like that way too much. Oh no, but I, I do agree though. Like, because oh, even Lord. honestly, to be honest, I, the first thing I I was like, wait, where's PJ Souls? It took me a good minute what? to figure to out. Recognize oh, I recognize yeah. her immediately. And then all of a sudden, I was like, oh shit, wait, really? she's Marcy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It took me a second, and then I was like, oh my god, how did I miss that? I mean, she's older, but um, she looks distinctively. I think her. she looks exactly I'm, the same. Yeah, I think she well, does. Wow. Well, and I'm thinking wow. even like in um uh oh shit, Rob Zombie's um come on, she was in. She's the one that she gets the in, car stolen from her. What? In Rob Souls Zombie's, was not uh, in one of those Rob Zombie. The three I, Devil's Rejects. She gets no. the car. Yes, really. PJ Souls is in Devil's Rejects. She's the one that he steals her car. Holy shit! Anyway, so that's what immediately then I did when I did recognize her. Oh, he's got to look this up. This is good. Damn right. So, I am. Um, so yeah, so so that took me a minute to fi- figure that out, but I, I immediately recognized uh, the character from uh, Children, Children of the, the Corn. Corn. Yeah. Um, like honestly, I which is sad, is he was the best actor out of all of them. Um, um, I do agree, though, the acting was subpar. Uh, that was a big no-no for me, but I did like the story. I did like some of the kills. I felt like it could have had more money, uh, or they maybe needed more money. Um, I actually got I don't even know what the the budget was for this. I'm gonna have to look that up um, because somebody here didn't do their homework. Uh, <laughs> I didn't have. Are time. you saying he? She was in the Rob Zombie Halloween? No, she was in Rob Zombie Devil's Rejects. Devil's Rejects? Yes, Devil's uh, Rejects. Look it no, up. No, she was not. Yes, she was. Look it up. Okay. It was either Devil's Rejects or... Now he's just making it up. No, it's in Devil's Rejects. I'm telling you right now. I am telling you right now. She was in Devil's yeah. Rejects. <laughs> keep, keep talking. I'll that was a up. meme reference there. Anyway, um, but yeah, uh, the the story, they they did a decent job with it. It's only about an hour and, what, 27 minutes. Um, so Bet. they did. I did feel, which is probably along the same lines as what you felt, it did seem to drag on a little bit longer than it need to. Um, they did try to, to put in some decent shots with, you could tell were drones uh, at that point, um, uh, but uh, drone shots and whatnot. But, but yeah, I, I think, um, you know, the main character, the, the sheriff did a pretty good job. A- am I wrong? Am I wrong? No. Yep. I You're was correct. right. Yeah. She was in it. Really? Yep. Wow. It was Very a small, small role, bit but part. Um, but yeah, I, I the, hate I, when he's right. And I'm going to be skipping kind of to the end on this, but the one thing that really pissed me off, which made me give it, you know, the. Um, you still gave it a three. I gave it a three, but I gave it a 3.2. But what bothered me the most about it was the fact that the main antagonist went from Mr. Billy Joe Badass to crying like at everything at the end of it. That kind of pissed me off. Yeah, I didn't like the fact that he was also looked like he was 38. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. And right. still living at home with daddy. Right. Um, right, right, right. And still picking on, you know, I think they, they said younger. retards. Yeah. But um, it, it just, that's the, my gripes about it. You know, the things I did like about it was this could have been a decent franchise. Like, I don't think. I agree. I, I, <clears throat> you, didn't, you didn't like the little man. Um, you know, I see now you're making you are trying to convert me to not like this movie. I, I, uh, I did not like the 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 little man killing the sheriff at the end. Uh, that kind of seemed pointless to me. 
Um, Spoilers. But but but, but what, oh, yeah, what was with points. the with the whole like? I I like I like stories that have. I get it. It's a movie, but I, I like stories that have some background in how he was able to resurrect. Yes, there was very limited. The, information. You know, um, they don't yeah. explain the mask. Jacob, whatever yeah. his name is, but 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 just it's like uh, there was there was none of that, and it just seemed like so random that. Yeah. So would if they did put, put something in there like a black magic, like of some sort of you they know, did do a chant. They, they did do the voodoo thing. They did do the voodoo thing. They didn't explain, explain that. They didn't they explain, didn't explain what, where this face came from. And oh, it's time to resurrect you again. There was no backstory there. I get that, but they didn't show you that it was basically somebody's face, and it was a spirit they were resurrecting from the dead to take over the dead kid's body to seek vengeance. But but uh, so, that's so all like, you need. But the problem I have is. I, I guess you could argue that maybe this is the you know the first movie in the franchise, mm -hmm. but but the point is it's like so really just these guys making fun of of the um, whatever you want to call the guy. Um, Did that, he have a name? The special kid, Jacob. It was Jacob. No, no, no. I mean like. As the killer, so like Michael Myers was called the shit. Oh no right? no no no! They no. did not. That would have been good if they had yeah. the name for that. No, they don't. But, but the point is, it, is it's like so. Really, the fact that we'll call him Candy Corn Eater. Candy Corn Eater. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Candy like, Corn Eater, Peter Candy Corn Eater. But really, like so that was the thing Let's that flipped the midget that. guy in, into Ooh, resurrecting this you said midget. little You're person. I think fucker. that's okay. I think I thought that was okay. I think no can. midgets. They they want they little. Person, I've seen a comedian person. that oh, no, says midget all the time, and he's like, like that's "Why like, are you offended?" You, by it's it? okay to make fun of yourself. Yes. Well, I get that, but you know, it's, all right, give okay. Me some, give me some midget all right. wrestling, all right, <laughs> and midget all bowling. Right. Okay, um, little people, little person, little person okay. bowling just doesn't right. roll off the tongue I, the same so way. So, do you think if they would put like Wee Man in that position, in that role, you think he would have done a better job? No, he's fucking stupid as well. Yeah, Wee Man can't do. Yeah, I, I just. There were just so many plot holes in in this story where it's like you're just supposed to um, assume. I, again, I guess a fucking movie, but just it's like I, I like at least a little bit of background when they're talking about something that he's able to resurrect this person. Yeah, I I understand what you're saying. I think, but the problem is, I think that this movie did get edited. And they may have edited that stuff out. They may have edited too Maybe. much in that backstory for sake of showing something else. But they, but and see, I agree. It wasn't because of time. Movie. Like, if it was an hour and 40-something, then I feel like they could have said, yeah, you know, we had to trim it down. Yeah, it was two it and a half hours hour, originally. Yeah. It was an hour and 26 minutes. Right. I mean, stretching it. That's yeah. probably It was probably with credits. Without credits was probably an hour and 23. So... Uh, you know, you could have put more in there. Um, yes, they could have. Does that mean it was rushed, maybe? Um, I, I, I don't know if they, they they did as well as they could have. Granted, like I said, it's not a perfect movie. But then again, what is? But I, I don't I don't know if... I don't completely agree that it's not the greatest movie. But I did like the idea of what they had as far as the character was a good idea to... You know, r he's vengeful... You know, does he need to eat candy corn all the time? Not really. Does he need to leave a pumpkin head with candy corn as a sig as a sign that he's there? I is don't that think that was left there as a sign. I think it just happened to be ancillary because he was eating candy corn as is, he looked is at candy the dead corn body his or power? But but nah, okay, wait. Well, before we go any further, yeah, though, do you guys yeah. like candy corn? I love candy. I corn. hate candy corn. <sighs> See, there's always Warwick. one. I love candy corn. I love it too. But Warwick also doesn't like popcorn. Yeah, like and any, he doesn't like this movie. Like any mm. no wow. coincidence. I think he went into wow. it with a bad taste but, in his mouth. Oh. <laughs> but, but, hmm. but okay. So, but so so as <laughs> as you open this up, it, it, it's so that's another thing. It's there is nothing about this movie <laughs> that points to it being a Halloween movie. I know we obviously picked it because no, no, no. But that related yeah. because the movie took place on Halloween. So literally, the when they said the curfew, let's bring all the kids and stuff. That was Halloween night. I, kids I, were I, out trip or, yeah, trip or treating. But, but I get but it. They but, don't really but the, that. So but, it's a Halloween. But the movie. the the demon or whatever that they they that were able to use to resurrect him. Um, like again, why did he have the the um, pumpkin candy? bucket like why did he have candy corn because the kid was special and that was his favorite treat and that's what he loved so he always carried around candy corn but there was no explanation for that well not that's only was why. there no explanation for yeah. that but that wasn't like a great staple for the guy you know it was like 
really that's his thing so what i i'd be but i, I so, didn't but i like the movie overall yeah, i was I gonna say was the, i guess it boils down to as a recommendation um it was honestly i had zero hopes going into this movie. yeah i did as well um, by the end of the movie i was actually like it's that you know yeah. I mean I've seen way worse I mean yeah. you know uh, I was entertained I didn't fall yeah. asleep oh, I wait, watched till the end I was not entertained I didn't applaud at the at end all. but you know what no, I no. still stayed to the end and I thought yeah okay God, I, I, keep going hey, it's it's let it out you have work, a mic let it out in front of you, uh, just I, let you have out. a pro you have a stage let's hear it he just vomits all over <laughs> <the place. laughs> so like, well okay that was not what I expected so, so as I said it's one of the things where you know, again, we don't, don't do your voice. We live in a world where you, your, <laughs> in a world. your ability to create a movie that, that looks like it has high production values yeah. is a lot easier today than it was, say, like certainly in the 80s. Yes. Um, yes. And, and I thought that it was, sh it was shot with seemingly high production value. Mm. However, the, just it seemed like just... You know, we talked about it in, in our review of I don't know, one of the reviews we did recently. Um, We've done so many. Everybody go watch this. <laughs> where, where it's like, you know, in the 80s, when you had uh, director VHS uh, like releases where it was all about like releasing stuff as quickly as possible. It's like, how quickly can we put this stuff out? Because they know that there's if they if they put out a movie that only has like 20 you know, two two hundred thousand dollars worth of budget. They know they're going to probably make a million dollars in 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 sales. This had that feel of, I'm just putting this movie out. Um, I have this idea. I didn't really quite have the time to like really flush it out. Um, but shit, I got this money. Um, let's just make a movie. So let's let's kind of do like what we do with the bourbons. What do you think the budget was? Uh, because it's Dread Central, I'm going to say half a million dollars. Okay. Oh, I, w I was thinking more along the lines of three and a half to five million. 250,000. That's what, that was the budget? That was That's the budget. That's what you got? Wow. 250,000. Yeah. It, 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 I to, and to be honest, I'm not trying to just make this up. I was actually going to say $300,000. Sure. So, so. Yeah, after uh, the fact. He says so, this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, so that to me makes it even better that... You know, now granted, yeah, that may have been the budget of, of the moment. actual film, yeah. the probably the promoting, and maybe they and shot the, some, some of the stars stuff. they got, they yeah. probably had a little extra that, kickback, yeah, that, or you know, two hundred thousand of it was for those guys, and you know, fifty was to make the movie. But I mean, and I and a dollar was for the writing. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Because um, Tony Todd would I, got I a I, producer credit on that one too, so oh, it, he might have thrown some money. It, in there. it it does take you know, I I I do see your your viewpoints of you know, hey, it's it's not the next Halloween. No, but I, I only compared it to the, the acting compare uh, comparison because when you watch Halloween and you look, if you were to read the script, you'd go, Oh my God, like who wrote this? Like, but you know, that's, that's kind of how I felt with this was that the, the main character, uh, the, the main bad antagonist, he wasn't, he wasn't doing what he should have been doing, which is he should have been, you know, a, a, a a deeper character than he was. It was more just like, I'm an old bratty kid and my dad's a cop. You know, that's kind of what I got. Oh, that of. guy. I was yeah, thinking yeah, the killer. Yeah. You yes, were talking no, about. no, 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 I, I the same no. Way. The killer, the killer, I think they did a decent job. He should have been, it's funny how he got taller. Um, is the one thing I noticed, um, which I, of, I did think about that too. I looked at him. It's like, does he seem a little taller than yeah. he was? And I had to go back to look the beginning part of it. And he was not that tall, but yeah. anyway, no, and I, I think they could have done a little bit more with that, you know. But it, I guess it's better because if he was like kind of a bulky guy to begin with, then it wouldn't have, you know, wouldn't have been as believable that they were picking on picking him. on him. Right, yeah. right, right. So they they tried to balance, but it it does feel like it was tried. It, they did try to kind of rush getting it out, and there wasn't things that were fleshed out. Um, like one of the things, and this is now you're making me point out all the bad shit. Uh, you know, uh, it's that's like, the way this happens. They, they don't welcome. really they don't really say that. Um, Shit, I don't remember his name. I think it was Chris um, or Steve. Uh, the Some guy kid. and his girlfriend. They end up yeah. in the theater. I thought they were in one of their basements. And right. then all of a sudden, I'm like, where did that big screen come from? Like, like, <laughs> and, and, and it is stuff like exactly like that. It's it's like, it, and then when the cop pulls up and, and, and they're like, like, oh, it's probably like Steve in, in, in there with his girlfriend again. Yeah. It's like, so... You Maybe could, they should have showed that first. You, you could know, just or, walk into a... Th 
I, I mean, yeah. obviously, you hey, man, there's work. a curfew. <laughs> okay, so this was a movie. That was, this movie was a victim of bad editing. It was because if you think about it, the the parts that make sense didn't make sense because they didn't edit it correctly for you to understand what was going on. Sure, agreed. Right? Either they edited out that one little piece that made you understand that they were in the theater before you saw them in the theater, or they never shot it. But I think it's an editing thing. So, to add to that, we don't know how the main antagonist, the son, right, got out of his. He was tied up. They show him. Be, the guy's dancing in front of him and he, they show his arms tied behind his back. Right. And then the next thing you know, he's out walking in the middle of the the circus again is the next scene. And then that's when his dad's car, his dad's car pulls up. Oh, I don't remember that. So I, I totally blanked on that. He was okay. tied up before that. Yeah. And they, cause they physically showed his hands being bound and I was like, okay. And then I'm, I'm like, oh, well they'll maybe show him struggling and then show him walking. But, and then the other thing that bothered but me when was he got up, his arms who put the fucking head, head on the top of the car. Somebody got out of that car and put the head there. Who was it? Was it? Are, it couldn't have been the the main bad guy. I don't, well, why not? I don't even know. If, because he he shows up inside one of the circus things. He comes walking out. Right, right, right. But who drove the car then? Exactly. But, but that's what see? I'm saying. It was him it, that drove the, the car, old, and he put the head on the but dad. But he wasn't there. The hood, Tony Todd. And then he walked off, and everybody, he was still like, wait, what is that? What is that? What is that? In the meantime, he's walking around. <laughs> And the guy goes, oh, it's my dad on the hood of the car. And then he's like, oh, wait, there's this big hulking guy that's standing in the corner of my eye that I did not see somehow. Yeah, no, that, to me, yeah. that scene made sense. I didn't well, think yeah. it made sense. So, so, so like, to, to the editing um, you know, point that you're trying to make. So, I, I, I agree. I, I, I agree. I think that's what a lot of the issue is. Because, like, to me... Um, Warwick agrees with me, by the way. The, I just want to point that out. The cop's son, whatever hell his name is. Yeah. Um, Let's call him Jerk. Like in in many other movies, you know, you, this is not a new thing that that the bad guy is is the son of the of, of the sheriff and and, and whatever. But but generally, you always have um, scenes that happen before that kind of highlight the fact that one of two things: either um, the dad knows that he, that he's an asshole, but as a sheriff, he's an asshole as well. Uh, and therefore, he allows him to kind of get away with being an asshole. Right. Or I guess his name was Chet, by the way. Chet. Chet. The son. Yeah. Like from Weird Science. I guess. Not um, really. Was it Chet? But but like all the other way that, that often it goes is you you know you have the sheriff dad that um, knows that his his son's you know kind of an asshole and and gets in trouble a lot and and he just has to deal with the fact that his son gets in in trouble a lot. Up until I, I'm not kidding. Up until the point that, that, that um, about halfway through the movie, where the son's at home and the dad, uh, the sheriff says like, "Oh, you shouldn't go out tonight." It's like you know that the, there's a killer out there or whatever. I didn't even connect the fact that he was the son of the sheriff. Oh, it, it, really? It's, it's like there, there was like no real kind they, of like I back, get that. They did story. that on purpose. I think they. I think they hinted at that until he actually says. Oh, my dad's the sheriff. And I'm but like, he says that early on. He says that way before that scene. Really? Yes, yeah, because when they're in the cafeteria, it. or not in the cafeteria, when he, he comes back to, to <laughs> confront the, the young girl that says, oh, you narked on us. He's like, oh, this, I don't know anything about that. He's like, well, my dad is the sheriff, you know. Yeah. And that was early on. Which so, it's so, like, so, did she not know that? So, so, so <laughs> right. Yeah. That, yeah. That's a really good point. It's like, how do... Maybe he did say that, and, and maybe... I, but yes, I did think... I'm like, well, Somebody how, the, didn't pay how did he know that, that she knocked on him? But you're right. It's like... I if, think he was just speculating and trying to I get think her so. to admit I, to I it think herself. that was it. That's I think he was speculating. That. His dad yeah. didn't tell him that. Yeah. Because when she was talking to the police at the time, he's like, don't worry, I'm not going to say anything about it. Meaning, I'm not going to tell my son. Okay, right, so... That you said something, This is yeah. funny how I'm like only talking bad about it, but... The one thing that did get, bother gave me is he's a, 3. He's a fairly smart sheriff. Yeah, he seems that way anyway. But then all of a sudden he's just like, yeah, I don't know what's going on right now. Like, like he just didn't know. I'm like, you're sitting here. Something didn't feel right. This Jacob guy is, you know, possibly doing this. And you say, well, maybe it's Jacob. And then all of a sudden you're like, I don't know what's going on. Like, it just. <laughs> so like, let me, let me, throw this at you, at you. let me throw this at you. I, so the way I looked at this back. movie was it was a cross between the original Halloween movie. In style, 
and a Rob Zombie wannabe movie. Exactly. Because they did scenes that were very Rob Zombie-like, yeah. which is the reaction in slow, motion, slow, slow jittery motion, like when he sees his dad head on the cart to give it more impact, just like Rob Not Zombie does. Not to mention does. that the face had carvings in it, similar to Rob Zombie's Halloween. Absolutely. The head he Rob did Zombie. So the shooting style or the editing style or maybe the editorial style of that was very Rob Zombie, but they didn't follow it through with the same sort of music that Rob Zombie yeah. had in his. They had a lame soundtrack, which was done by the director, by the way, and it didn't follow the same theme. It didn't follow the same flavor of a Rob Zombie movie, so it fell short. But they also tried to do the exact same sort of... Uh, what's the way to put this? Uh, a mood as the Halloween movies where yep. they had the cop that was old but wise and kind of knew what to do in a very small town. And it was like, you know, uh, it's Halloween night and there's a killer on the loose and what do you do? You do a curfew and, oh, there's this the assistant in the deputies or in the the sheriff's office that's handling all the calls and i mean it, it followed the same sort of theme as a the halloween movie the original sure. halloween movie sure right so i think they try to combine those two but they fell really short on the rob zombie mood and and fear and that's why it didn't get the same sort of reception they didn't have the money to follow through with the rest of it and it fell short one other gripe i have here we go nobody Wait, 3. seems 3. to 2, nobody by the way. seems to scream what? Yeah, they screamed. The girl screamed in the theater when she saw the her dead boyfriend. I'm saying when he's killing them. When he's ripping out that guy's spine, all he's doing is going... Like, there's no screaming. Okay, but this is the Rob Zombie part. So, yeah. think about that. When There was a lot of the times in the Rob Zombie movies when they first saw... Somebody's ripping my spine out. I'm going, ah! I don't, it'll, I'll sound like but, a girl. I don't give a shit. Remember when they <laughs> saw... Like, anytime the girl screamed and stuff, you saw them scream, and it was in slow, jittery motion, and... And you saw the terror on her face, mm. but you didn't hear the scream. But to your point, you heard some old nineteen twenty right. soundtrack. There, 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 song. there was there was atmospheric music or sound that or something gave that, you the that, creeps that went, about it that went along with it. See, and they yeah, and or they contradicted were to, it. Either they did try to be happy artistic. Music so from the twenties, yeah. and you're like, that's see, so weird to listen with this. Yeah, and you could have even put something in there like. Some sort of sound, a uh, uh, high pitched sound, sort of like in, um, uh, you know, just anything. It could have been, you know, a car fan belt or right, whatever. Right, 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 you know, right. Just something to fill in that screaming. You but know, that's a Rob but, Zombie thing, and that's what they were trying to do. Yeah, but they were. Where you they don't did, hear the screaming all the time. Executed, so, so, so his. Uh, well, now I want to give it. A, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so, I, I, no, and, I think it's still. I still think it, I still think it's worth watching. I agree. And. It, well, I agree. I, 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 I agree. Once I didn't say like watch it I on didn't every say it was Halloween. Good, but so so but like it's just not bad. But my other problem is like one of my so many fucking problems with this thing. <laughs> so okay, so you have Jacob, yeah, which at the very beginning Jacob. of the movie, Jacob, um, yeah. ha Jacob. <laughs> It's a soft It's a soft uh, But so at the very beginning of the movie, when you know all, all you really know him as is other than the fact that. I guess yes. You you can you can make the assumption that these kids are saying that they they make fun of him every year, but why? Which was ludicrous for thirty eight year old boys. To yes, do why? Exactly. Okay. I'm gonna say spit why, it out, Warwick. Spit why it out. Have have the circus folk um, latched onto him so much that they're willing to say, "Oh, you know, I'm sick of." of he explained of, of, that. Of, of people making fun of us freaks. He said right at the beginning, goes when he saw him come in, he says, you're late. And he was like, oh, sorry. And he knows that he's a special kid. And he says, you know what, D Jacob, don't worry about it. You're one of us. We consider you one of us. Therefore, when somebody goes after one of our kind, we retaliate. That's very convenient writing. Well, he's, he's, Said it right there. He says, and he says it again at the you end. You are one right, of us. But, yeah. uh, God damn it! You know, and it was. It's like you know. Typically, when you have these circuses come into town, they're only in town for a few days. Right. Like, how is he? How is he so attached to this to this one kid? You know, so so quickly. Because he just, accepted be, him as one of them. Kind of depends. It depends on the circus too, though, right? Like they might be there for a week or two, right? So are, are they we? Might be, 
Are we really speculating uh, on his right, attachment yeah. to this are. kid? I think we are. I, I, I am. Because that's not that but, big a deal. That's a why willing suspension My movie needs to be real life. <laughs> but why? <laughs> he why? needs a specific four to seven days to be friends with anybody. <laughs> Everyone Three days knows is that. insufficient. <laughs> I think so. But... Uh, I, I How just, stupid of I a just, movie can it be? I fucking hate if they this don't movie. Get the so, five to seven and you are totally to entitled to your opinion on that. I honestly, <laughs> I would recommend seeing it once just to see it. Um, it was better than I originally anticipated, which it, is it not isn't. saying much. It isn't. I think I think there's going to be people out there who really attach yeah. to this movie. Oh, yeah. I think it's a great movie. It's going to be the younger crowd, but well, it's possible. <laughs> That's not the point. It's got some famous people in it, so it's it's. Set up to be a cult classic. Yes. It's got certain editing points in there from Rob Zombie movies, so it's set up to be a cult classic. I don't think it'll ever make it, but... Yeah, if it hasn't by now, five years later. I think that... Well, some movies take 10 or 15 years to be a cult classic. But the point they is, age like a whiskey. It's not a great movie. Unlike a, so, no, so what we're it saying, isn't. but it's not a bad movie. So, so it is. A bad <laughs> what movie. we're saying then is, this is very similar to the whiskey we just had. But so, uh, well, uh, uh, I think uh, it's uh, a little uh, better than this whiskey. Okay, so, so, so I'm going to liken this to Plan Nine from Outer Space. No, no, come on, Plan Nine no. from Outer Space. To, 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 Plan to, Nine, you have to, to, to see to your stretch. to your Plan analogy stretch. had some some well known actors in it. And still, as much as we can comedically appreciate Ed Wood's um, cinematic masterpiece, um, is a fucking dreadful movie. True. Yeah. This is a fucking and dreadful you know what? movie. It's still a saying. cult classic, isn't it? Uh, because of how fucking it's bad it is. It's a cult classic, isn't it? Uh, I don't disagree. Tor Johnson is famous just because of that movie. Yeah. I agree. I agree. But all I'm saying is that doesn't change the <laughs> fact that... Like, yes, if what you're trying to tell me is in 40 years' time, if we're still doing this fucking podcast, um, we, be we, dead. We, we come back and, and we go, if I wish to. Halloween we, 75. We, we, we should re review <laughs> Candy Corn. Michael's a cyborg. Because now yeah. it's a cult classic. Yeah. It'll be Candy Corn 7 by now. Oh, 700. Yeah. yeah well. Anyway. It wow. was a dreadful fucking movie. All right, so uh, I didn't think it was that bad. Bottom line is, uh, Lon and I think you should check it out. Yep, it's worth uh, it. Warwick it's worth things view. don't waste your time. It's, worth view. it's not great. We'll let you guys decide, but, yeah. um, I, but I, let us know what you yeah. let us know what you think. Trivia kids, I, I, am I am I oh. totally off base? Am I totally yes. wrong? Yes, it's happened. <laughs> you always be- are. We it's know happened that. before. He doesn't like popcorn, candy oh corn. My God. He doesn't like Halloween. So I don't he, think he likes Halloween. He didn't like it already, based on on you know what. No. What we just based on the name of the movie, I think it shut him off. Yep. Yeah, we're screwed. Bastard. Any Anyway, so do we have some uh I have some trivia. Anyone? Go Anyone? For it. Go yeah. for it. Yeah. Don't trivia. look at my got, screen, you bitch. I'm not looking. Not you. Oh. The, the guy who doesn't like candy corn. Okay. All right. So when they at the beginning of the movie, and actually several times they've gone into the diner. Mm-hmm. Anybody remember the three specials? Mm. Because this movie had some good comedy in it. And I don't think you guys realize that. But It did have some decent <laughs> background stuff. Uh, I do. I did not pay attention to those. Anyone? Anyone? Uh, I saw I, the specials, but I was like, I can't read that because I'm old. But go ahead. Do you remember the three specials were? I do not. The three specials were <laughs> chicken, pork, beef. Okay. Maybe that's why. That's nice. hilarious. Yeah. Is it, though? It is. <laughs> Come on, it's not like, you know, <laughs> chicken almondine or lemon chicken. No, it's chicken, pork, and beef. It was a fucking Those di- are the specials. Oh, in a shitty on. town. All right, okay. Uh, in a shitty movie. Uh, Logan, do you have one? Yeah, I do. Um, so, Gus, our favorite character in this movie. Right. Uh, <laughs> what a loser. Is having a daydream. Yep. While jacking off in a bathroom. Yeah. That was awesome. Uh, uh, okay. There <laughs> we go. Okay. Okay. That okay. got you. That got you. He loves it. That was a he redeeming factor. So that's what gave it the 1.3. <laughs> yeah. Right? The that, point that three. was a redeeming factor. He, so, he was actually, truly, he was actually probably my favorite character in the whole oh, way. Oh, dear He was Lord. a pretty good character. Yeah. So... What shirt was he wearing? What did it say on his shirt? Which time? Well, uh, uh, so it was, it, when he was in when the he's bathroom. Off? Yes. He was in After the bathroom he he walks out of the bathroom when somebody uh, walks, or walks out of the stall. Was say. it a was it a kiss shirt or no. was it no? It wasn't a band shirt. No. It was a saying. It was a saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, 
Give you th- two I, seconds. I no, I can't okay. think of it. I heart lot lizards. <laughs> Which made <laughs> that made me chuckle. Which he was total trucker oh, guy yeah. anyway. Oh, yeah. he total was, trucker vibe. So I get suited that. him perfectly. Oh, I think. that's funny. So yeah, I, uh, that, what was the population of the town? Ah, you son of a bitch. Uh, 437. Do no. you remember? Did you have that one, Logan? Uh, I think I had it. Hold on. I'm double checking here. Yes, I did. All right. I will tell you. It is 1980. 1980, which is a hint to when this movie was supposed to be taking place. Oh, really? That was supposed to be 1980? It was supposed to be. It was. It, look at the look at what they had. The Nobody hair had on PJ Souls makes there sense. There was not a single car out there that was made after 1979. That is true. So it was the cop car was in 1978 or 77. S- they did uh, a crown. So that would be a, a saving grace for me is that they did a decent job of. It kind of reminds me of like Napoleon Dynamite, where it's like you don't know when that took place. Was that yeah. now, or was that because it's a small town? They're kind of behind the times. But you That's could tell from this one like. from the cars, I think, around the place. And the clothes well, that they wore and stuff. That like was that. the other thing I noticed is a lot of the cars were like too fancy. Like, you know, they were pulling up in like fancy. Yes. The, the fanciest car they had was the Camaro that the guy had that uh, what's his face had the movie theater guy. Was it a Camaro? Or was it a charger? Or that Challenger? may have been a charger, I think. Charger. Uh, but still, it, that was still a 69. So anyway. OK. All right. I've got one. I've got one. <laughs> OK, go for it. Do you remember the name of the newspaper? Mm. The Tribune. It was, oh my God. No. It was the. Um, you remember the name of the town? The wow, Dalton Lord. Gazette. I don't know. The he, Grove Hill Post. Oh, Grove Hill Post. Because Grove Hill. Okay. Yeah, yes. All right, go ahead. Son of a bitch. I got two really tough ones after this, Ooh. but you go first. Um, that was not what I was looking up. Um, Why do you have porn on your phone? <laughs> it's, not, it's not porn. I think when. Oh, this is a decent one, actually. Right. This is a pretty tough one. When does the sheriff actually pick up his gun? What time does the sheriff pick what up his gun? What time of the movie? Like a time No, code? no. What time on the wall? There's a clock. Oh. When he picks up his gun. And he takes because he gun. makes a big deal about the fact that he doesn't, he doesn't carry never use his gun. gun. He doesn't use the gun. Yes. Right? Which mm-hmm. I thought was a nice throwback to, um, uh, oh, my God, lethal weapon. Right. Oh, he didn't use the gun, right? Yeah. I don't Running know if it was necessary. I'm throwing that. it in there. I don't know if that <laughs> I was fucking. Was, I don't know if that was intentional. A little but bit whatever. of a stretch. Great horror movie. Yes. Lethal weapon. <laughs> <laughs> they um, always screw you at the drive-through. It was, it was nine twenty-five. No, it would be five fifty-one. Oh. Five fifty-one. PM. Any significance to that? No. I no. Just, I, I okay. was like, yeah, there's a clock okay. on the wall. Fuck it. You were pretty right. close though. Do yeah. you, Do you have any others? Because uh, mine are minor. Nobody's going to get mine. It's a pretty simple one, but let's do it. What was um, Dr. Death's show actually called? Oh, oh. Do- uh, um, Oddities. It was an oddities thing. It was a, no, 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 uh, Voodoo. Voodoo uh, Emporium or something like that. Mm. Dr. Death's Voodoo something. Yeah. It was Voodoo something. It was Dr. Death's Sideshow Spook, uh, spook House Spectacular. Yeah. Yeah. Way but there was a voodoo in there. There was voodoo. That, in that, there. that may have been like the shop that he owned. Voodoo, uh, voodoo. Maybe that oh, was no, the shop. You do, the Not the show, but that was the shop. Are I you did. thinking of the Emporium? The Emp- Voodoo yeah, Emporium? Yeah, the Voodoo that's, Emporium. That's, that's the name of the that shop. Was, yeah. Okay. Okay. Good try. Though. Okay. All right. No cigar. All right. That was a good one. I like mm-hmm. that. You like that? Uh, do, you want, do you have any others? <laughs> uh, tough one? No, go ahead. I, okay. Mine are not. You're not going to get any of them. All right. Let's see it. Bring it on. What was the movie? That was playing in the theater. Ah, you cocksucker. <laughs> was this on yours? Yeah, no, but I was I was looking at it going, oh, I should probably look that up. Yeah. Um, uh, wait, if wait, you wait. can give me the lead actor in it, I will take that. So I'm going to go with... Peter Laurie. No. Um, it was black and the, white, right? It, it was black and white, but that doesn't mean it was so Peter Laurie. He's in everything that was black and white. <laughs> I'm going to say, cause to me it was sounded like Vincent Price. Not in the theater. Not in the theater. That was when they were what I thought was in their basement making out or whatever. Correct, um, but that was. Is not... it called the Phantom Creeps? 
What, you pull that out of your ass? You're no, like, I actually, I took a screenshot of you the You son of a dick. <laughs> <laughs> so. You freaking asshole. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist. You took a screenshot? Of the of the uh, the credits, what it says. You dick. Sorry, this, is that cheating? You didn't look up the movie like I did? No, because I'm lazy. And Who's in that? I work. Who's in that? Um, the star. Don't look at your it phone. Was Don't look at the phone, you <laughs> bitch. <laughs> Not the Bella Lugosi. Bella Lugosi. I did see Bella Lugosi. But the, that was who the was first it? I swear to God, that sounded like Vincent Price at no, that was the TV show. That was the TV show. That what's his face was watching when his dad, the cop, came ah, home and looked that's at. That's right. Okay. So okay. what was the name of that movie? That I that's know. my other trivia well, question. I mean, it could be uh, the Bat. You're a you're a you're a dick. <laughs> you're a dick. You <laughs> you cheated. You looked up the credits. I had to because I was like, son of a whore. It's gonna take me forever. I don't. You're you're a <laughs> dick. I am. I'll take that. Oh my. god. God. Love you too. This was the, oh. he, had, he had he had one thing that he wanted to get over you. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> In this you cheated. I you cheated. I didn't mean you to looked cheat. in the credit. You know why he used those movies and all, all the music that was in it, other than the stuff that he domain. wrote, because they're public. I assumed that based on yeah, because they had no budget, so they just picked public domain. Yeah. Because I thought, ooh, what's the significance? They're watching the back. Yeah, I mean, because they make be, it prominent. It's prominent yeah. in there, so. But that's just it. They did it because, well, one, it was you get to hear uh, Stephen, uh, Vincent Price's voice. So that's yeah. a very iconic yeah. voice. So they made sure they put the clip in there where you could hear his voice. But they just randomly picked the movie because okay. I thought there was some significance. Yeah. But no. No. Yeah. no significance. But still very cool movies. Both of those movies are very well, good Speaking movies. of significance. Yeah. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's Wrap do this a up. final decision here. Yeah, let's do that. Well, I've made, I've, I've made my decision. I say, oh, yeah. I say yeah. check it out. If you got a chance to, yeah, I think it's, it's only worth an hour it. and twenty six minutes. I think it's worth it. I think it's worth your time. Yeah, I think if there is literally nothing going on in the entire rest of the world, <laughs> and you have an an hour and twenty seven minutes in your life um, that you know you're never going to get back, um, <laughs> hey, watch this movie. See, Warwick endorse, endorses it. <laughs> all right, thank you very much. Please comment, like, subscribe, do all that shit at the bottom. And let us know what you think about this episode and many others and what you want to see more of or if you have a suggestion that you want to see absolutely bourbon-wise or movie-wise, let us know. Please save us from other crappy movies like this. There's going to be crappy movies. That's our thing. Is we watch it so you don't have to. Yeah, I guess. Or we right. tell you. Go ahead and check it out. Thank you very much. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Still love you. you. All this other social media crap up much. there. And we're gone. Out. Take us out of this.